It's one gate into manhood. All we doing out here, fellas, teaching them how to dream and teaching them how to be me. I'm actually going to show you and teach you how to succeed. You have got to tap into the dream. You were created for a purpose. In order to be a man, you got to do a series of things that you're uncomfortable doing that you don't want to do to get to manhood. A hundred of y'all got selected out of five to 7,000 applications. You got to ask yourself a question. What turn of fate allowed me of the 7,000? How did I get picked? I didn't even know I was going to get a chance to talk to him about my dream and all that. So it's, it's crazy that I get this opportunity. Who in here already a man? You are a man when you are responsible for yourself and every life you touch. You got to practice doing a lot of stuff you don't like to do in order to be a man. You feel me? Yes, sir. Yes. I saw him sitting in the golf cart over there staring at us. I was like, oh no, we're in trouble. <laughs> then I realized he was just talking to us about discipline and respect and he does care. He wants us to be better men. See, I get up every morning at four. I don't want to, but I got to do that. I got bills to pay. I don't want to, but I got to. That's what manhood is. It's always emotional for the boys at the end and for most of the men too, because you know you are. We put a lot of time into these kids and they're going to get on these planes and they're going to go back to some of these incredible situations that they have to live in and live through. I'm happy to be here in this camp. That's the fifth time I've said this on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Steve just wants to build a personal relationship with everyone that's here. And Steve is a really good man for that.